Sounds good. All right, so let's start um, lying down. Marion, I love those leggings. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, good. We'll just take, um, I'm gonna hang out here and just see if anybody else pops on. But we have our, our dedicated crew here and I appreciate you guys. So let's start lying down. You can bring one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. Soles of the feet might be planted or you can also um, keep the legs extended. Again, just whatever feels best in your body. And I'm gonna move nice and slow today, taking our time to warm up. Basically, it's one of my favorite practices. It's just a whole bunch of warm ups, and it just feels really good in the body. Good for the mind to slow down a little bit. So set an intention for your practice this morning and let it be one that's maybe to slow down. to notice any tension in the body and just acknowledge it, not really judging it. And then see if you can deepen your inhale just a little bit more. And as you exhale, allow the exhale to become a little longer. And for those just joining in, good morning. We are lying flat on our back and we'll be going through a nice slower practice today. We'll still do some sun salutes and all that good stuff. Um, but just keeping it a little bit more low key. And setting an intention. Beautiful. And then from there, you can stretch your arms long, stretch the legs long. Good. Maybe like you're first getting out of bed in the morning. Beautiful. And then we'll go ahead and take both knees into your chest. Good, and gently rocking your legs around in a circle. Or you can even just rock a little side to side. I feel good. And we'll take the right foot down onto the mat and then kick your left heel up to the sky. I'm using a strap to hold on to the back of my uh, foot, but you can use a strap or you can use your hands, whatever works. And then point and flex the foot, circle the ankle around, let it feel nice and good. Relax your shoulders, notice any tension in the jaw. And then from here, you can let your right leg extend long on the mat, flex your right foot. And then we'll take our left leg 
and cross it over to the right, taking a twist. Yeah, you can bend your knee if keeping the leg straight doesn't feel good. And then we'll come back up to center. Go ahead, place the left foot down on the ground. And now we'll take our right foot and kick it up to the sky, holding on to the back of the leg. Keep the sole of the left foot flat for a moment. When and flex the right foot, circle your ankle around. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. And then we'll let our left leg come long onto the mat. Bend your right knee if that feels more comfortable and we'll cross the right knee over to the left, taking a twist. Arms come out to your T or cactus. bringing your legs through center. Beautiful. Taking the soles of the feet from the lat onto the mat so they're hip width distance apart. Plant your hands down by your hips and then push your shoulders back into the mat. Spread the fingertips wide so there's pressure in your arms, right? Your arms are rooting downward towards the mat and we're going to do a bridge pose three times. So take a nice full inhale. And then as you exhale, you're gonna hug the belly and curl the tailbone under. Keep pressing down through the hands and feet. Lift your hips up. Good, a nice inhale at the top. And then as you exhale, let the hips lower slowly back down. Good, we take a full inhale and exhale here. And then again, nice inhale. And now as you exhale again, curling the tailbone under, pressing down through the feet, lift your hips up. Big inhale at the top. And then exhale slowly, let the hips roll back down. Breath and a half here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And then last time, exhale, curl the tailbone under, press down through the feet, right? Press down through the arms. And now we're gonna take a couple breaths here. And you want there to be a little curve in the back of the neck. And you're dragging your heels towards your butt without actually moving them. You'll feel your hamstrings kick on. It's so, so, so important that we strengthen our hamstrings. Helps with our uh, low back pain and posture. If we sit a lot, good, taking another full inhale, beautiful job. As you exhale, slowly lower down. Ooh, good, and then take the feet mat width distance apart. Let the knees knock in towards one another. And then arms will reach out to your T or cactus. And notice how when you take a big breath in, right, and a nice big breath out, the, the work, or maybe it was a little bit of a hurt, <laughs> right, um, the muscles working starts to just ease up, right? And then we'll gently windshield wipe the knees side to side.
do one more each direction. And then go ahead, return your knees back to center, hugging them in. Nice big squeeze. Now we'll come to roll all the way over to one side. Good, and then make your way up to seated. And then the hands are gonna come back behind you. Okay, so it's, um, yeah, perfect. So yeah, hands come back behind you. We're gonna do a figure four. So take the right ankle on top of the left knee. So, right, so it's just like a seated pigeon. Right, and you're in a figure four position. So your right shin is parallel to the ground. Good. And then from there, we're just gonna gently again, rock ourselves side to side. nice on the hip. If you need more of a stretch, you can walk your hands closer towards you. Just keep the chest reaching up right. right. The other option is to walk your left foot in towards you a little bit. Good. And then switching sides. Right foot's gonna come down. If you need a little break for your arms, just take a little lean forward, shrug the shoulders out, give your hands a nice stretch, and then switch. So now your left ankle will come on top of the right knee, just like you were in a pigeon pose or a reclined pigeon. Then we gently rock the legs a little side to side. Again, if you need more of a stretch, you can walk your right foot in and then walk your hands in. But, but I like to keep it nice and spacious. Right, let it feel good. more back and forth. And then we'll go ahead and study that down, coming back to a nice upright position. Soles of the feet are gonna come together. All right, and we'll inhale to reach the arms up. Now as you exhale, you're gonna reach, this time I want you to round forward, right? You can round forward, grab hold of your ankles, your shins, and let the hands um, rest onto the ankles or shins and the elbows onto the knees. Good. Just take a couple breaths there. And then we'll inhale, come back up. Beautiful, and then we'll come onto our hands and knees. Hands plant underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're gonna go through a couple of rounds of cat-cow. Okay, so as you inhale, look up to the sky, tailbone's gonna lift. Beautiful, and then as you exhale, round. Inhale, look up. Exhale and round. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Two more. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Last time, inhale, look up. And exhale, round. On the inhale, come back to a neutral spine. And from here, we're gonna take our right foot out to the right. right. So the inside edge of the foot can be planted or it can be lifting up and you're on your heel. You take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, you're gonna start to sit the hips back. Yeah, good. And then inhale the rise on up. And then exhale, sit back, right? And if you're only sitting back like an inch, that's fine. Inhale and exhale. I think that's number four. Let's do two more. 
Inhale. And exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. On the inhale, we come back up to neutral. Now we'll take our right foot, swing it over and around to the left. So it crosses over that left calf. Swing your hips to the right, and you might even gaze down at your right toes over your left shoulder. Beautiful, and then from here, we take our right foot, step it forward between the hands. Right, your left knee might lift up off the mat or you can keep it down. Beautiful. And then hands walk out to the left, gently wagging your hips a little side to side. And we're trying to keep a 90 degree angle with our right foot, or sorry, your right ankle and your right knee. And then the hands will come back to center. Let's go ahead, plant the left palm down. Now the right arm's gonna reach up to the sky, take a twist, lean back, good. If your right shoulder's tight, right hand can come to your hip. Another full breath in. And then exhale, hands will release down. Let's come back to all fours. So now we're going to do that whole sequence on the left side. First, we're going to do three cat cows. Inhale to look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Last time, inhale, look up. And exhale, round. On your inhale, come back to neutral. All right, switching sides. So now your left foot's gonna kick out to the left. Right, and either the inside edge of the foot is planted or you're up on the heel. Take a nice big inhale. And then as you exhale, sit the hips back. Right, and even if you're moving it back an inch, that's more than enough. Inhale to rise. Exhale, sit back. Good, inhale, rise. Exhale, sit back. Good, we have three more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sit back. Inhale. And exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. On the inhale, rise on back up. And then we'll go ahead and sweep our left foot all the way over to the right. You might even gaze down at your left toes. And take a couple big breaths. If you wanna challenge yourself too, you can take your left fingertips out in front of you and then over to the right to get a side crescent. You don't have to, that's just an option. And now our left foot's gonna swing forward between the hands. Fingertips walk out to the right. Right knee stays down or it lifts up off the mat and gently wiggle your hips side to side. And then hands will come back to center, right palm's going to plant underneath the right shoulder, left arm is going to reach up to the sky. Okay, so you want to keep your arms in one nice long line. You can also bring your left hand to the hip. And 
another full breath in. And then exhale, hand releases down. Beautiful. Back to all fours. Three more cat cows. Again, so it's not a, we're going to continuously move, but it's not going to be as intense, right? So as you inhale, look up to the sky, tailbone lifts. Exhale and round. Inhale, look up. Exhale and round. Last time, inhale, look up. Exhale, round. This time we're gonna sit the hips back to child's pose. Arms will reach out in front of you. If your hands already need a break, you can let them drape alongside of the legs. And we'll take about a minute here to breathe. Another couple big inhales and full exhales. And on the inhale, we'll slowly rise on up to all fours and we'll make our way back to our first down dog. So you can step back to the top of a push up into a plank or if you're on all fours. Maybe you just lift the hips up and back, whatever way you want to get into it. Okay, and then move your chest towards the legs, little bend in the knees. Gently let yourself rock a little side to side. You can pedal the feet out, you've got it. Shake your head yes, shake the head no. And then however our feet get there, we're going to step them all the way to the top of the mat. Feet are hip width distance apart. On the inhale, you'll lengthen the chest halfway. As you exhale, you'll fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. On the inhale, we'll go ahead, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Beautiful, as you exhale, hands will release back to your heart. Good, we're gonna go through some half sun breaths. So inhale, arms rise all the way up. As you exhale, fold. And again, just let this feel good. Move with your breath. Don't hold any pose for too long. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise. Good. We're going to do one more. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. 
As you exhale, hands come to the heart, gaze down at the fingertips and breathe. Checking back in with your intention. Just feel all the beautiful energy circulating in the body with the breath. Good, so you guys are gonna stay standing. I'm just gonna lower to my knees just because of the space in the screen. All right, so you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna reach them up overhead, right? And then from there, you're gonna hook, you can hook your thumbs together, or if you want, you can um, interlace your fingers and have your pointer fingers touch, really up to you. And we're just gonna take a little rock from side to side. I'm just getting a nice stretch on either side of the waist. And again, these movements can be super little, they can be a little bit bigger. Good, now we're gonna stay over to the right. Your right hand's gonna come to your hip. The left arm's gonna keep reaching up. You might even bring the back of your, or the palm of your left hand to the back of your head and press your, your head a little bit backwards, like so. Right. Sometimes that feels good on the, the left tricep. And then we'll inhale, both arms rise, switching sides. So again, we'll take the left hand to the hip, right arm reaches up. You can lean over to the left, right? Or you take the hand to the back of the head and gently press the head backwards. And then inhale, both arms will reach up. Good, as you exhale, let's interlace the hands behind the back. And you guys know, you can either take your hands together or forearms together. Inhale, reach your chest up. As you exhale, we take the feet mat width distance apart and then fold forward between the legs. And then from there, you're gonna gently rock yourself from side to side. And then we'll release the fingertips slowly down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, back to a down dog. However you get there, you can lower through all fours. You can take the feet back. On your inhale, we'll rock forward to plank, right? You can lower your knees as your modification. As you exhale, We'll bend the elbows, lower all the way down to your belly. You'll untuck the toes, press into the palms. Chest is gonna lift up to a cobra. Draw the shoulders back, and then we'll exhale back up to all fours, and then down dog. Couple breaths and down dog. And you'll inhale to rise onto the toes, look between the hands, and then exhale however you get there. Your feet will travel to the top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale, arms will reach all the way up. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Gaze down at the fingertips for a moment. And then moving on, we'll inhale, reach the arms up. Good, as you exhale, we'll side bend to the left. Inhale through center, and then as you exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, arms reach back up, exhale, fold. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, down dog. Gorgeous. Inhale, forward to plank. Good. Exhale, bend the elbows lower to your belly. Inhale, your chest is going to reach up to a cobra. Good. And then as you exhale, tuck the toes under, down dog. You take five or so big deep breaths. Don't worry about counting though. I just want you to breathe. And then on the inhale, rise onto the toes. Look between the hands. Exhale, feet walk to the top. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, and fold. Good. Inhale, arms will reach up. Nice. Last time through, right hand comes to the hip, left arm reaches up and over side bend. Inhale to rise and switching over to the left, right arm reaches up and then over. Inhale, both arms rise. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Good. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, forward to your plank. Right modification, you drop the knees. Exhale, lower to your belly. Inhale, chest is going to reach up to a cobra. Beautiful. Exhale. Sit the hips back again. Child's pose. Your arms are tired. They drape alongside the body. And again, another minute to a minute and a half here of rest. Beautiful. From here, let's rise on up to all fours. Alrighty. Let's take our right foot forward. Left knee is going to stay down. Right now, if you are um, feeling like you want to make this practice a little bit more rigorous today, you can also do this with the back knee lifted. So essentially what we're going to do, um, I'm going to keep my knee down. We're gonna inhale, look forward. Maybe your chest lifts up a little bit. Good, and then as you exhale, we're gonna send the hips back, straighten the right leg and sit back. Now, if you, again, if you wanna keep this lifted, right? So I'm just demoing now and then we'll, we'll move into it. This is what you're doing on your inhale. And then on your exhale, you're gonna straighten the right leg, right? So again, it's gonna be an inhale, reach. Good, and then exhale, you straighten. Now, if you want to take the modification, again, still demoing, you're going to inhale, just reach the chest forward. And then as you exhale, you're going to sit the hips back. 
So everybody's a little different, right? So we're just gonna breathe together. So inhale, bend through the right knee. Now we'll all join in. And then exhale, we'll straighten the right leg. Good, inhale, rock forward. And then exhale, pull back. And just going back and forth. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, good. And exhale, beautiful. Two more, inhale and exhale. Last time, inhale and exhale, straighten. Good. All right, inhale. We're going to rebend through that right knee. Good. Now, whether your left knee is down or it's lifted, we're just going to stay here and breathe. Keep drawing the legs together. Keep reaching the chest forward. Now, as you exhale, now we'll all straighten our right leg. So, again, whether it's you're in the standing position or you have your left knee down. We'll keep our right leg straight and breathe. Beautiful hamstring stretch. Good, and now we'll rebend through that right knee. Come back to all fours. And then we'll take down dog and just notice this, the difference between the sides. Maybe your right thigh bone feels a little bit further back than the left. Maybe it feels like you can um, just keep the leg a little bit more straight. And then we'll switch sides. So again, we'll all lower to all fours. And now our left foot's gonna step forward. So same thing, you can do this with your right knee lifted, right? And as you inhale, you bend the left knee. And then as you exhale, you start to straighten, right? You can also do this with your right knee down, which is the variation I'm gonna do here. So on the inhale, let the hips get heavy. Good, and then as you exhale, peel the hips back. Straighten your left leg. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, peel back. Good, inhale. And exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. And then last time, inhale. And exhale. Good. Now this time we're gonna hold each position, right? So let the hips get heavy. We get um, either the right knees down or it stays lifted. Breathe. If your back knee is lifted, stay high on the ball of the back foot. Beautiful, and then from here, we'll all straighten the left leg. So again, whether you're up in the standing pose, right, or your right knee's down, we'll just take a couple big breaths here. Left leg is going as straight as it possibly can with just a little tiny micro bend. Good, now we'll all step forward, however you get there, to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms will rise. Good, now as you exhale, hands will come through the heart center. We'll step the feet wide on the mat. And it's really up to you how, how far comfortable wide is. You want the feet parallel 
We'll bend in the knees. On the inhale, let's sweep the arms up. Beautiful, as you exhale, we'll start to fold forward. So keep the shoulders pulling back first. We'll bend in the knees and then fingertips can release down. Right, notice where your weight is. So you can rock a little forward and rock a little back. And sometimes we tend to lean really far forward into the balls of the feet. Or sometimes we're super far heavy into the heels. We want to find that beautiful neutral sweet spot between the two. Again, it might take a couple rocks. It might even take a couple um, yoga practices to, to get it, to figure it out. And then from here, we'll go ahead, lock the hands to the top of the mat. Once again, stepping back to down dog, take your time. All right, so from here, we're gonna come into pigeon on the left side. So left knee is gonna to come to the left wrist. Your right knee is gonna walk as far back as it comfortably can. And if that means you're more upright, that is beautiful as well. Okay. And then from there, you might lower down to the elbows. And then we'll take about two minutes each side. And if it becomes too uncomfortable at any point, you switch, you come up out of the pose, come onto all fours or a child's pose. Thirty more seconds here on the left side. Good. Now we'll come on up and switch sides. So you can move through all fours, you can move through down dog. And now your right knee will come to your right wrist. Left knee is gonna walk back behind you. And then again, lowering down to your elbows or whatever feels comfortable for you. You guys will wanna keep your hips square to the top of the mat.
another minute. And then we're going to all come back up and then we'll swivel around to lie on our backs. Beautiful job this morning. Good. From there, you're going to lie completely flat on the back. Hugging the knees into your chest. Gently rocking yourself side to side. And take the soles of the feet down to the mat, mat with distance apart, slowly let them windshield wipe side to side once again, like we did at the beginning of class. And then you'll let the knees knock over all the way to the right. You can take your right ankle on top of the left knee to give yourself some, some traction, right? And we still keep the legs moving over to the right. A good stretch on the left thigh, left hip. And then the knees will come back through center. Now let them knock over to the left. Right, and your left ankle might place on top of the right thigh to help guide your right thigh down. You can even reach your right arm alongside the ear and get a bigger stretch from underneath the right armpit all the way down through the side of the waist, maybe even out through your right hip and thigh. Good, and then coming back up. Grab hold of the left leg again. Take your left hand, place it behind the leg. Give yourself traction. Press your hands into leg, leg into hands, and then let the thigh move away from you, right? So it's not about how close you can get your leg to you. It's actually about rooting your thigh bone away from you. Another couple breaths. And then you'll switch sides. So now your right leg will come on up, holding onto the back of the right leg. Press your hands into the leg, leg into hands. Point and flex the foot, circle the ankle.
And then we'll take a happy baby, grabbing onto the inside or outside edges of the feet. And if that's not comfortable, you can also just take the knees into the chest, gently rock yourself side to side. And then when you're ready in your own time, lowering all the way down for Shavasana. So maybe you get a blanket or a sweater, something to cover you up, keep you nice and warm and cozy. And taking this time just to tune back inward to your intention to tune back into the sense of slowing down, right? We didn't really have a very vigorous practice, but we still worked the body tremendously. And then very slowly and very gently, begin to take a deeper breath in through the nose, into the belly. Move out of your belly, out through the nose. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle the toes. Stretch your arms and stretch your legs. And guide both knees into the chest and gently let yourself rock a little side to side. Take your time. And then you will come to roll all the way over onto one side. And use your really strong arms to make your way back up to a seated position with the eyes closed, the hands will travel to your heart. Sending yourself so much love and gratitude for moving and breathing in the body that you have. Yoga practice is a beautiful way to celebrate our, our body and 
all the mechanics it takes, right? The breath, movements, muscles, joints, right? And just celebrating that about ourselves. We have this ability to move. And may your intention stay with you as you go through the rest of your day and weekend and just keeping it close to your heart. And in honor of our time, I'll gently sing the sound of Om one time. And you can sing along or just listen. And we'll take a full breath in. Mm. Bow your head to your very own heart. Thank you all so much for practicing with me this morning. Namaste. Thank you, everybody.